And welcome again to Ask Dan the Lobster Man. How are you doing, Lobster Grammars? Today we are going to show you the lovely Nikki. Say hi, Nikki, back there. Hello. And uh, how to make campfire lobster tails, which is absolutely fabulous. You know, next time you go out to the camp out, everybody, they bring their hot dogs and brats and burgers, and you bring out lobster tails and put it on the campfire, believe me, you're going to have to beat them off with a stick. Anyways, it's so easy. And right here, we have some of my favorite tails, right here. And these are the New Zealand tails. And you can tell by the shell, I think we can get a good close-up of that, Nikki. It's got, it looks armored. And these are a cold water tail. They are just fabulous. And uh, it's part of our exotic lobster collection that we have. So, first thing you do, take some lemon, quarter them up real easy. The next thing that I'll do is we're going to butterfly these. We're going to put a little uh, melted butter on there and use clarified butter. And then we're just going to put them on there. I'm going to put them on the, in, in some tin foil, and we're going to put them on for about 10, 12 minutes on the fire. And they are going to be just fabulous. So the best way i found to um, butterfly these is to take your tail like this and, and just push down on it. You'll hear the, the shell kind of crack. Then you want to do is take your lobster cram shears and cut the underneath right in the middle, just like that. I mean, it's really that easy. Then just flatten the tail a little more. And voila, look at that. You will have the perfect lobster tail butterfly. Just cut it just a little bit more. And there you go. Look at all that meat. So then all we want to do, we take a little of our melted butter and just pour a little bit on there, whatever you want to do. If you'd like more, put more on. Squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. Now the thing is, if you butterfly it, it's going to cook a lot faster. The other thing is that the lobster will then cook in its own juices in the shell. And it is, it's, it's going to be like its own little cooking pot. And it will be fabulous. So then all you want to do, real simple, Put it in plus, put it on there, just like that, and wrap it up. Don't be stinky with your, with your lobster. Oh, I almost forgot. Put a little lemon wedge in on the sides, too, and that will steam it up and, and just make it really juicy. And that's a trick for me. And then just wrap them up. You use a lot of tin foil, because what you don't want to do is you want to have a or see all these juices. And you want to keep make sure you know which side the shell is. Keep it on the shell side and just cook it just like this. Don't flip it. Just cook it like that. And that's about it. So we're going to go over to, we've got a fire going and we'll, we, uh, we'll get going. All right, here we are. We are ready to go to put them on the fire. What you want to do is get a good fire going, good bed of coals, and we're going to just lay them right on there just like that. And we're going to cook them. These tails are 8 to 10 ounce tails. So we're going to cook them right about 10 to 12 minutes. If your tail's a little, a little bigger, do a little longer. If they're smaller, a little less. Okay, it's my favorite time, taking the tail off. We just want to take them off. And remember, you end with all the crustaceans, lobsters, shrimp, crab, whatever. Don't overcook it. You can always put it back in the pot, throw it back in the fire, or whatever. So we're going to let these babies just uh, cool down a little bit, and we're going to see. Okay, so now we're opening them up and seeing how they turned out. And oh, look at that baby steaming. Ooh, look at that. And you can see that the lemons gave it a lot of uh, flavor in the meat and kept all the steam in there. And that's your campfire uh, lobster tails. Um, when you try this recipe, make sure you send us an email. I'd love to hear how it turned out. And you'll make all of those other campers so jealous. Thanks a lot, and don't forget to... Uh, if you have any other questions, email us at AskDanTheLobsterMan at AskDanTheLobsterMan at LiveLob.com.